Hi everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use bookmarks in Power BI. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have two charts. One is bar chart and second one is pie chart. So let's open the selection pane and the bookmark pane for this tutorial. So let's overlap these two visuals. and I will create two bookmarks and I will name the bookmark one as pie chart and the bookmark two as bar chart now if I right click on the pie chart bookmark so I can see these many options so I will let you know what are these options and uh, what is the use of these options. Here on the top we have three options. Update, rename and delete. So update is for updating the bookmark state. Rename is to rename the bookmark name. Delete is to delete the bookmark. This group is grayed out because uh, group will be enabled only when we select more than one bookmark. So data will come to it afterwards. Display will be on for every bookmark. Current page, also you can make it on or off. So we can keep it on for uh, all visuals and selected visuals. Now all visuals will capture all the visuals in a particular page. Whereas selected visuals will capture only to the visuals that were selected when the bookmark were added or updated. So whenever we create a bookmark, we usually uh, uncheck the data. And... So basically we uncheck the data between all and selected we will always choose selected visuals. So let's choose selected visual for both the bookmarks. And yes. So 90-95% of the time you will choose these three settings uh, while applying bookmark. So these are display will be on, current page will be on and this selected visuals will be on. 90-95% to 95 of the time. For data, I will I will show you an example afterwards. So let's create a bookmark for pie and bar chart. So for pie chart, let's hide the bar and let's show the pie chart. Now select pie chart and select bar chart as well. So both the charts are selected. Now since pie is showing, let's go to the pie chart and update the bookmark. So click on three dots and update the bookmarks so our pie chart has been updated now for bar chart let's hide the pie chart and show the bar chart now select those two charts and go to bar chart click on three dots and update the bookmark now our both the bookmarks are updated if I click on pie chart it will show me pie chart if I click on bar chart it will show me bar chart you can see for bar chart bookmark the bar chart is shown and pie chart is hidden so this is how we generally create bookmarks now now let me show you an example when and how we use this data option so suppose uh, let's add a slice of visual and uh, in this slice of visual let's add product column So suppose uh, for a bar chart, we want uh, the product to be Montana. So whenever we uh, sele uh, select the bar chart bookmark, it should always show me bar chart for the product Montana. And whenever we select a pie chart, it should always show me the product of PESIO. So currently how it is, if I click on bar chart, it will show me the product of PESIO. And if I click on pie chart, it will show me the product of PESIO. So whatever the product is selected in the slicer, it will show me the chart for that product only. See, if I am changing the charts and it is showing me the product for uh, PESIO. But I don't want this way. 
I want to see pie chart for PESIO and for bar chart I want the, to see the product Montana. So for this we will have to capture the filter data as well. Basically you can say we will have to capture the data as well. So how can we do this? So click on Montana because we want uh, for bar chart we want the product Montana. Now I will click these three visuals and our bar chart is showing and pie chart is hidden. So go to bar chart and click on the dot and update the chart. Before updating, let's uh, enable the data. For pie chart as well, let's enable the data. Now for bar chart, let's right click and update. So our bar chart is updated for the Montana product. Now for pie chart, if I go uh, currently, it will show Montana product. But I want this uh, pie chart to show PESIO product. So for this again, uh, after selecting the slicer, uh, let's select these three visuals. See, our pie chart is uh, showing and bar is hidden. So let's go to pie chart and right click and update the bookmap. Now you will see it will capture the slicer data as well. So if I go to bar chart, it will show me the Montana product and for pie chart it will show me the PESIO product. So this uh, data option applies filter and it basically captures the filter data. Okay. I hope it's clear. Now uh, let me show you an example for the current page. Let's update this bookmark once again. So let me show an example. If I turn off this current page uh, for pie chart and update the pie chart so now for bar chart we are having the current page and for pie chart we don't have the current page as uh, turned on so if i go to a different page suppose page 2 uh, if i click on pie chart it will not take me to the page 1 because current page was not selected for bar chart, the current page was selected. So if I click on bar chart, it will take me to the first page. Let's see that. So if I click on bar chart, see, it took me to the page one. So that is the use of current page. So I hope uh, you found this video useful and you have learned something new in this video. So thanks for watching the video and uh, let's meet in the next tutorial. Let's Thanks for watching the video and let's meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.